You don't understand who you is yet. You sit on and ask God question why you why your life always so difficult? Why you always have your fight for everything we want out of life? Why it seem like everybody else just a cruise past you in a destiny? Cruise past you in a prosperity and purpose. Hmm? Them just are walking at them anointing and them blessings. So and then you have your wonder why it seems like a struggle for you. Why life so hard, you feel like say you always have to push water up a hill to get yours. And I've lately you know, stop asking God why you. You look upon your life and you say, God, how can I life this? How come you end up doing a party? Why me have to choose a party? Why my story had to be like this? Well, God, send me to come answer your question today. Why not you? Your life is the way it is because you are chosen. That is why everything you do, it feels so difficult. It feels like a challenge. Because you are breaking curses in your generation that nobody else could break. You are setting trends and opening doors, unlocking chains that your mother, your father, or your siblings couldn't do. Holy Ghost, of course the strong man over your family could put up a fight. Because he hear about you. And him here say you are the chosen. Him here say you come from mash up when put down for centuries after centuries. Yeah, man, word reached back to him long time. Said, dear, is coming up one in the bloodline. We're fearless. We're full of Holy Ghost. We're full of authority and power in Jesus Christ. We're signed and sealed until the day of redemption. Him here, boy, yo. news flash. Him know say so you are the warrior in the bloodline. And you come for take back everything where Christ died for you and give you by divine right 2,000 years. 2,000 years ago, you come for reset your generation and your bloodline. So what you think he might go do? He might go do everything he can for stop it. But guess what? It is too late. But can never you choose yourself. A God choose you. And never you call yourself. A God call you. And I never you send yourself. A God send you. And the Bible said his word shall not come back to him void. So you say if him say you're chosen, it means say you're chosen. But guess what? As a chosen vessel, your life is not going to be a walk in the park. You can't have your cake and eat it too. No man. You have to stand up and gird up your lion and put on your fighting boat. And stand up in a Zion. And allow the spirit of the living God to do the rest. How do you think, say? The strong man did not go make us live happily ever after. How do you think, say? The strong man did not go allow you to prosper in your business and prosper in your education and prosper in everything. No man. You're not going to do that. Are you name chosen? So you need to stand up in your position. Know who you are first in God. Accept who you are in God. And stand in that place of confidence in the living God. That's all God called you to do. He said, walk right before me and I will establish my covenant with you. And that's all you need for them. Stop ask God why you. Stop complaining why your life's so hard. Understand the assignment now. Understand the mantle, the weight of the glory of the living God that is upon your head. Understand your assignment where God sent you upon earth for them. Because you come for do some things with 10 generations before you feel that. But you can't feel because of you, God, choose. Them feel because God never chose them. But you can choose. And that's why it is you. That's why it's so painful. That's why everywhere you turn, it feel like you're being pressed on every side. Yeah. Because there's something about hell. When hell hear your name, them tremble. God them know say everything we do him. Everything we do she may attack our health, may attack our finances, may attack our character, may attack our relationships. And she's still standing. And she's still going. She no give up on God. Him no losing faith. And him still go towards him destiny. So guess what? Hell is terrified. Well, God will be glorified. Cry if you have to cry. Fix if you want to fix. Brush up yourself. Keep going. Because.
say, Elijah say, Lord, open up your servant eyes. Even today I ask your father, open up your servant eyes that they may see that is more that are with them than those that are against them. You say because of God send you, heaven back you. You can't feel. So stop trying to get there overnight and stop trying to go ahead and them in the race. Stay in your lane and focus on where God call you to do. Because even though you might not get there overnight, you will get there the right time. Glory to God. You're going to get there. And then you're going to look back and say, No, I understand why me. Yes, God. No, it makes sense why I go through all I went through. Why it was so difficult for me to get here? Because of this Satan did I try to prevent me from get. At this him did I try to block me from receive. He never want to open the gate to freedom to my generations to come. He never want to do it. But as it is written, I see Satan fall like lightning. Any plans him have over your life, it don't feel already. It don't feel already. 2,000 years ago on the cross, don't feel already. And that is it. Sign off.